Yeah, it has happened to me. What I've noticed is that one of the pallets doesn't have enough tack. And then when I put it under the uh, flash dryer, what it does is the flash dryer shrinks it. And then as it shrinks it, when it comes back, then I get that um, little peep of um, underbase showing. Some of them yeah. are moving on me, and I don't want to keep messing up these hoodies, man. But thanks, Melo, man. You have a good one, all right? Good looking. All right. All right, man. Always. All right, one. front is done I'm gonna prepare my charcoal here oh. yeah. for lunch I'm gonna prep some hot dogs today I'm gonna do some hot dogs with some sweet um, grilled onions uh, pepperoncini and a little bit of salami. Woo! Well, sometimes that's to be once you put it in the flasher, pre it, it, it tends to shrink a little. All right. Registration. We all have those problems, man. Even when everything is registered perfectly, you ran through about six, seven hoodies, everything going well, here comes one that is just off the registration. You see some on the base and you're like, you don't understand. Here are the factors that you have to be um, looking at. One, as you heard at the beginning, the tack. Sometimes the tack is not enough tack to end the hoodie intent to shrink after you put in the flasher. All right, registration problems, man. Here are some factors that you have to um, keep an eye on whenever you are already printing, everything is registered, everything is aligned. You already went through maybe six hoodies already. Looking good, here comes the seventh hoodie and now it's off. You don't understand, you think it's the palette, you take, you, you take out the other hoodie you put in, it's perfect. You just you don't understand. Well, sometimes that's to be, once you put it in the flasher, pre it, it intends to shrink a little. You mean shrink it? Yes. <laughs> Significant shrinkage. You're gonna have some movement on that hoodie. On um, the tack, like you heard at the beginning, the tack, make sure that your pallet tack is good enough that that hoodie ain't moving. Even if it's shrinking a little, it's not really moving. That's the other one you have to look for. The other one is your tension on your screens. That's when you're gonna get some stencil drag. Meaning, the, even a micro of an inch of that stencil that you think it, it feels pretty tight, but you've already been using it for over a year already. It's not, it's, it don't have the same tension. It's gonna intend to move. Spe especially if you're putting that squeegee down and you're really pushing, um, pressing it down, that stance is just gonna move a micro bit, it's gonna throw you off the registration. So my advice would be, if you have those screens that are doing that, stay away from pushing the ink too hard, don't put too much pressure. Remember, we're not pushing ink to the shirt, we're just placing the ink, or you slicing on the top. On the, on the power where the ink is, that's what you're slicing off. Don't put too much pressure, there's a little pressure. Lay off the pressure and you're gonna see. Do not come and pull and then you go, oh my God, the, I can still see in the bottom a little a bit of white. And then you're gonna come and push. You're just gonna throw off. You're just gonna have a mess. It's gonna look very blurry. If I come with a nice little um, micro lens and get close, you're gonna see that it's way off. Sometimes you're gonna get a blur, a blur, a blurry image or a double. 
It looks double, like you don't understand. So these are the factors you gotta um, be concerned and watch out for when it's printing because registration is one of the most time consuming parts when it comes to screen printing. Now, let me finish the back. Crashing the pond on the marble floor. Yeah, put up that sound I read love and joy. Yeah, I want more. Yeah, she want more. All the miss ones of the flashing lights. She only will hit to a certain song. Her channel is orange, white flannel thong. Come tag along, come tag along. Crash, love, lost, and a man look left, tiptoe to the fan. Scream, bitch, take off in the jam. Skid out, crash now. Got it, got it. Let me tell you, there's no better feeling when you're done to your last shirt, hoodie, whatever it is. As a screen print, there's no better feeling than that. Job done. Black, man, it's with a four five patch, leather with a gold chain rack. Tempted by my own black ass, won't touch it with an all gold mask. She ain't been running away, opposite of playing cool. Beat up on the 80 dash, put my mama to the pool. Give him signs to play a fool, cause she is the queen. She kinda got the image of the read. Follow her lead, live in the system to die your head green. Part of my ease, why you with me? Fish out of water, I'm dying slowly. I guess I will kick it when summer is eve. No dirt, no more sweat, I'll be trending like me. You gotta be patient, so look at my me. Peace. All right, I got everything already grilling outside, getting ready for my hot dog, we go to bread. It was the hot dog, it was nice, salami, and the nice onions, it is beautiful, oh, right, salami, hot dogs are almost ready, oh definitely, they already look ready, these hot dogs look delicious, now, it's time to put in the pepperoncini with sauerkraut. Woo! Eat it up real quick. Okay, the first thing we're doing, getting a bun. We're gonna put one side some nice yellow mustard, just like that. The other side some relish, beautiful. Then you're gonna put the salami on both sides. Real nice, there you go. With the hot dog right there. Then you're gonna come with a little bit of that cabbage with the banana peppers and slap it on with a little bit of that nice sweet onion. Woo! That looks delicious. Mm mm mm. Here it is. Hot dog, this different types of red hot salami, sweet onions, cabbage, which is sauerkraut that my lady made on her own, and some pepperoncini. Oh, delicious. Mmm. Oh, man. Oh. Now this is a hot dog, man. So if you like this video, press that like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Be thankful always, be grateful always, and just let God. Mm. Take you on the right. Peace out. Hey, what's up, mommy? How you doing? Um, I just called David. Uh, all right, just gave him. There's four hot dogs there, split them in half, so at least everybody can at least taste right. the hot dogs. All right, mom? Thank you. Have a good one.